What is up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about how we can make multi-dimensional arrays. And also we are going to be going over how to use the for in loop. So let's get started immediately by creating our first multi-dimensional array. So let group equal. So first we should create an array and a multi-dimensional array is just an array in another array. So for example, inside here, we're going to create another array, which is going to be a list of Mario and Luigi, of course. And then we'll go ahead and create two more of these. So Nick and Potato. And of course, the final list will be of Max and Samu. Now, as you can see, it's already becoming a bit complex to actually access the items. Like if we want to access Nick or let's say Luigi, we have to go in different arrays into different dimensions to actually pick them. So let me show you how you can do that. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and log. So essentially, if you want to, let's pretend, get Luigi from the array, all you would have to do is go ahead and type in group and then pick first the position of the first array, which is zero, and then the position of the second item, which is going to be one, because this is the first item at the index of zero, and this is the second item, which is at the index of one. So if you go ahead and click on save, you should get Luigi. Okay, let's actually change this to groups. So let's pretend we want to access each one of these groups individually and each one of these names individually and print them all out to the console. A very simple way to do this is to use the for in loop. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and type in for let's group in groups. So this is going to create an iterable loop, which is going to use each one of these indexes inside the groups and then make sure we don't get out of the index so we won't have any errors either. So now we can go ahead and type in log. And the first thing we want to do is pretty much log each one of these groups. So we can just type in groups at the position of group plus a space plus the group itself. So now when we go ahead and click on save, you'll notice that we will have the groups printed out such as Mario, Luigi, Nick, Potato, Max and Samu, and we'll have the index of each one of these groups. So as you can see, all this variable does is count which index each one of these arrays are at. And to call each one, we just have to call the array as normal. So you can see groups at the index of the group in the for loop will give you the current group. And now we have to go ahead and create another for loop. And this for loop is going to get us each name inside each group. So for let person in groups at the index of group. So this is just going to make sure that we can go over each one of the items inside each array. So right now groups at the index of zero will have these two items and we will loop through these two items. So now we can just go ahead and copy this console log one more time and place it inside there. But uh, there's going to be a small edit, which is we're going to add another pair of brackets. And inside here, we're going to type in person and we're going to type in person at the end instead of group. So now when you go ahead and click on save, you'll notice we'll have Mario Luigi, then Mario zero and Luigi one, because this is the inner array and this is the outer array. And then it goes to Nick and Potato, so Nick zero, Potato one, then Max and Samu, which it goes to Max zero and Samu one. So that was one of the very basic ways you could use the for in loop. Now I want to show you another way to use it. And this is for the key value pairs, because this will be very useful when you have lots of data to log or you have JSON data, you'll see that, that you will use the for in loop a lot. So let's go ahead and create another for in loop. Uh, but first we need to go ahead and create some employees. So we're going to type in employees and that's going to equal some key value pairs. And the first one is going to be myself, which is a programmer Then we're going to add Nick, who is a milkman and Jens, who is a cryptocurrency trader, which we can just type in Bitcoin investor for now. Now let's try to get all of the names and all of the professions. And to do this, we will again use the for in loop. So for let employee in employees, then we can just log the employee, which is going to be the name plus a pipeline to separate the values plus the employees at the index of employee. Because if you remember in key value pairs, you need to refer to the ID or the key to get the value. But now if we go ahead and click on save, you'll notice it will print all of the values because first it will get all of the employees that are present in employee, which is all of the names such as my name, Nick and Jens. Then there's the employees 
at the value of the employee, which will give us the actual value, which is programmer, milkman, and Bitcoin investor. So yeah, those were the very basics of multidimensional arrays and the for in loop. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.